I'm Glenn Hobson, mechanic for the number 32 Auto Trader JGR Monster Energy Suzuki, and I'm here to walk you through Weston Pike's 2017 Supercross bike. Suzuki provides the best motorcycle on the track because they perfected their base setting and everybody seems to prefer it handling wise, feeling wise. Ergonomics, the bike is phenomenal straight out of the crate and it's only taken a minor bit of tweaking to get it up to supercross speed. For Weston, the thing he prefers most, more than anything, surprisingly enough, given that he's a bit of a meathead, is the feeling of the motorcycle. The way it leans into the corners, the way it handles, the way it approaches the track, it all comes down to handling. Everything else is second. 450s make plenty of power across the board, so it's minor tweak in there, but having a good handling bike is key for any Supercross. The front brake on this bike is primarily production based. It's production master cylinder, production caliper. We have a Galfer 280 millimeter oversized rotor that we run with a arc folding brake lever which has progressive adjustable ratios that we can tune to different track conditions for particular feels. A Weston runs a conventional spring fork, no air. We found in a lot of our testing that with his we'll call it less than fluid style, that the progressiveness of the air fork was, was tricky to get right. It's a great technology and amazing for weight savings, but as far as the way he rides, the spring fork action was just superior. Weston's front end setup is kind of surprising given his riding style. He likes a real soft initial touch. He likes to be able to feel the bumps and have good bump action, but his uh, overzealousness in the rhythm sections causes us to need surprisingly stiff setting lower in the travel. So on the front end, we're also running 2017 production straight from Japan clamps that come on any 2017 RMZ450 out of the crate. We've had to make minor modifications to the diameter of the internals to fit the suspension tubes that we wanted for the amount of flex in the front end that we were chasing. And in doing so, we had to make external modifications to allow them to fit into the fixturing jig that our machine shop uses to change the board. On the rear of the bike, the shock, factory show suspension, titanium spring, the whole nine there. The Supercross is typically, I don't want to say stiffer is better, but unfortunately that's the kind of the name of the game is stiff is where it has to be. And as long as it's stiff enough to forgive all of his errors on the track and you know allows him to bank off of berms and riders, he's pretty happy. The stock linkage was really fine for everything that we needed, but we did want some adjustability, so we developed a custom pull rod that uses interchangeable pills to determine pull rod length and therefore adjusting the, the progressive feel of the shock. This JGR shifter has a shrouded front that even under full lock of the shifter tip, it doesn't allow any mud or debris to get in there and otherwise impede your shifting ability. The engine guys, are uh, they're pretty secretive about their, their setup, but I mean, there's, there's always the normal boxes you can check off, the higher compression pistons, the higher lift cams, you know, better flow, different timing is, all that stuff is, you know, obviously proprietary information, but it's also based a lot on the different rider profiles. This program being in its infancy, we really have not had a lot of time to develop anything, so the basic platform we're working from here is stock. The internals are primarily stock in the bottom end, with aside from, you know, a little in-house love from our machine shop. I mean, we're out here running pretty well stock. 2017 RMZ 450 and we're competing at the highest level. I mean that goes to show you how good these bikes truly are. I'm Glenn Hobson and this is Weston Pikes Auto Trader JGR Monster Energy Suzuki.